Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone, here I notice uh, still many tech and even cardiologists uh, make mistake uh, for the tracing endocardium and timing of the uh, tracing for Simpson, uh, especially in apical two-chamber view. So I am focusing on apical two-chamber in lecture. Uh, we go uh, other lecture, uh, we practice and other cases. Here we have apical two, as you can see, based on the definition of endostol and encystol. Which of these is correct way for the endostol for tracing endocardium? This one, do we go based on the anatomy feature or EKG? This one, as you can see, anatomy structure and EKG. And what about the systolic time? Is it this one is correct uh, frame that we go for the systolic and systolic, this frame or this frame? And what is the correct uh, criteria for finding the endostol and encystol? After uh, finding the correct timing for end diastole and end systole, here we have uh, end systolic. Which one is correct for the tracing of endocardium for Simpson? This is your clips, and this is specific tracing and uh, all of them at the same uh, moment and or same frame this one is correct this one is correct or this one and what is your uh, reasoning and criteria for selecting correct uh, trace tracing for the simpson in the systole in the hostel is the same concept here take uh, trace this one at the end diastol and at the end systole is that correct tracing on the end diastol and end systole if not uh, where is the mistake and how we fix it and second based on the result as you can see simpson 69 and biplane 66 percent based on 2d uh, uh, just eyeball guessing does it match up your measurement this measurement with the cardiac uh, activity imaging assume that there is not any wall motion abnormality and we don't have any, any electrical conductivity disorder here we have two different cases for apical 2 assuming this is apical 2 is that correct apical 2 each of them is this one correct or not and this one too what are your landmark and criteria for making decision is this is not correct apical 2 why exactly give the reasoning and uh, those landmark that you know this is not apic correct apical 2. Second, what is this uh, curving in the uh, this area and this one too? Is that sigmoid or what? And uh, when you say this is abnormal, based on these features, what maneuver in each of them you will do to fix it apical 2. Imagine you are not going to apical 5 and 4 and then again go get it apical 2. This is easy way and usually we do that. But based on the, those anatomy orientation of the proof and all those skills that you learn, based on this criteria, what maneuver you do to fix it each of these uh, two chamber, make it correct two chamber and finally what is this structure 
does it help you for getting uh, answer for this one or not and here the same what does the structure you can say now let's go for the explanation <clears throat> 